With all the fashion trends popping up nowadays, are you having trouble finding one that best suits your lifestyle? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few of my favorites and maybe they'll be your favorites as well. My first favorite fashion trend is animal print. Animal print is something that everyone can wear. You can find pieces from five, ten dollars, maybe a purse or a nice little scarf to upwards of any price point that you want to spend your, your coins on. Whether that be a piece of jewelry. Some people just don't like to go bold with their animal print. Uh, uh, I do. I have absolutely no problem. The best way to do animal print, in my opinion, is wear a nice pair of boots. That can be a pair of booties, as you see in my picture, or a pair of knee-high boots, or just a pair of mules, a pair of just kitten heels, what have you. Any kind of shoe with an animal print will do. Perfect way to accessorize your outfit. One common denominator with all of the spring and summer's fashion trends is color. Just, it doesn't matter which color, just a nice pop of color. In my outfit, I chose this red purse as my pop of color. It just adds a little pizzazz, a little warmth, a little brightness, just a little extra oomph to the outfit. My second favorite trend is polka dots. I have always loved polka dots. Big dots, small dots, black dots, white dots. <laughs> does not matter. I've always loved polka dots, whether it be in a nice blouse, a nice dress, a nice skirt. I've always loved polka dots. And these are different items of clothing that you can try as well. You may not want that big, bold, long skirt. You can maybe do just a little purse or uh, just a little tank top with the polka dots and small tiny polka dots, maybe not the big dots, but you can just try whatever feels comfortable to you and your lifestyle is what you should try. But definitely, Go out on the limb if you don't like polka dots and just try just a little, little something. But remember to add a pop of color with that. As you can see in my look, I found this, what I think is a really cute black and white dress from Zara. It was really reasonable. I think I paid maybe $50 for it on sale. My pop of color is this red purse with the fringes, which is also on trend this summer. Just brings the look up a little bit more, makes it look more mature, makes it look more summery, make cute. It's just something you can just shake when you're walking. That's just what I would do anyway. My third favorite trend for this spring, this summer, are the short suits. I love it. Now, this particular short suit that I'm wearing, I purchased from Zara, took me completely out of my comfort zone. When I first put it on, my husband started laughing because <laughs> it is Easter Sunday purple. That soft pastel purple. I would have, back in the day, never purchased this, but I really, really liked it. And if I can find a picture, I'll put it above. Uh, it was actually a pantsuit. I took it to the tailor and had him to cut the pants off into a pair of shorts. That whole suit was put maybe $100, $110 max. So I thought it was okay for me to go ahead and do that. And I just absolutely love it. I paired it with the yellow and white shirt just to make it contrast and pop as an outfit with my white whisker basket. Just have fun and be playful. You may not be able to find this sort of suit at your local store, but what I recommend is you go to Goodwill or whatever your local consignment store, find you a men's suit, have it cut off, take it to the cleaners, put you a pop of color on that suit and just wear it like I did that. Yes, you did. My next favorite trend is pleats. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love me a good pleated skirt, a pleated dress, a pleated anything. I absolutely love, I just love the flow of the pleated skirts. They're just so dainty and so ladylike. Now, you may or may not have a pleated skirt in your wardrobe, but they're fairly reasonable. You can go out and find them at Target. You can go to the mall if that's what you want to do. I found most of my pleated skirts at Zara. They don't necessarily have Zara in North Carolina where I'm from but they have a Zara here, so I have several pleated skirts. And just remember, add a pop of color, even if you don't have a 
colorful pleated skirt, maybe you just have a black pleated skirt, and add your pop of color in your shirt, or your purse, or your shoes, or even your accessories, you can put a bright bow on your shirt just to bring it out for springtime. Now, if you take a look at my outfit here, I added two trends in one. I put the animal print boots with this beautiful pleated blue skirt and added my um, off-white Bauman inspired blazer just to bring the outfit together and just so happen to have a clutch to match the purse. I think it's a beautiful, feminine, very spring-like outfit. The reason I like this next trend is because it transitioned from last summer and it's still here this summer and perhaps it'll go over to next summer. Satin. Satin is very feminine. It's just beautiful the way it flows when you walk. I love a skirt that just flows again. It just flows when you walk. It just moves. It's just very ladylike. You can get it in all shapes, colors, sizes. A nice satin skirt or a nice satin dress. You can put a blazer on top of the dress. You can add a blazer or a white button down or a colorful button down to a skirt and just make that work. If you look at my outfit here, this beautiful green skirt I purchased from Zara last year. I paired it with my knee-high animal print boots and just put my favorite Banana Republic white button-down shirt with it. And just to make that green contrast, I added that blue clutch. I think it's just beautiful. Just, just seamless. There's nothing wrong with this at all. I just really, really like this. This is really cute. I felt really pretty in this outfit. My last and favorite trend for this spring, summer, are blazers. Everyone should have a blazer. Everyone should have a blazer. Everyone should have a blazer. Now, if you don't have blazers, the first color you need to go out and purchase is a black blazer, then a navy blue, and then spread out from there. But this blazer that I have here is orange, and I was really hesitant to get this because it, it's bright, but it's beautiful. I fell in love with it because of the cut. The cut, it just tapers in at my lack of waist. It's not that I don't have a waist, I just don't have hips, so it makes it look like I don't have any waist. But it just tapers in at the waist. The cut is just very feminine. It falls over your body just like this, and it's a perfect length. It hits right at where I need to hit on my hips. And I decided to pair this blazer with a pair of distressed shorts and my white button down, but really some cute, almost nude pumps just to pull the entire look together. It's fun, it's sporty, it's fresh, it's modern absolutely beautiful. Honorable mention for spring fashion trends, faux leather. Now, because it's faux leather, it's gonna be hot, so you don't wanna take it into summer. But look, look at this shirt, is this not cute? I got this from Zara too. I would stand up, but I have on shorts, cause you know, it's business up top, but it's party. <laughs> it's, it's party on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you can do um, faux leather shorts, you can do faux leather culottes, you can even do faux leather pants with a tank top for spring. You might not want to do a faux leather like big shirt. This shirt has all this exposed so it's not too hot, but the faux leather is in right up until summer. Yes it is. Mm -hmm. And this color green too. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Now, if you like the content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> if you don't like the content, do me a favor. And you can hit the thumbs up, you can hit the thumbs down. Just leave me a comment and let me know why you don't like it. Maybe we can talk about it. We can talk about it. I won't, I won't get offended, I think. I will comment back though. <laughs> oh, best believe I will comment back. <laughs> don't get it twisted. I'm sweet and salty. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it and have a blessed day.